Welcome back. Time to find out what we got wrong and what we missed from TV's Andy Levy over in the Red Eye News Deck. Hey, Andy. Hey, Tom. How are you? Good. Excellent. Got any big weekend plans? I don't have any big weekend plans. Okay, then. Um, <laughs> kids don't want to be president. I'd like to point out that I spelled kids. I don't know if you can see this. I spelled kids with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Kristen, you said you're not surprised at all that kids don't want to be president. They see Trump mm -hmm. calling Hillary crooked and the devil and Hillary calling Trump a racist woman hater. Yes. What's wrong with them hearing the truth? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, but it's okay. the truth is very frightening. <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Nick, I enjoyed the hell out of your impression of how the highlights phone calls must have gone. Highlights Magazine did this Thank survey. You. So I kind of hate to do this. I'm just going to point out the survey was done online. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so it was, it was unscientific, Andy? Yeah. No, it was scientifically done online. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, along the same lines, Dave, you're creepy, hey little kid, I have some candy, want to answer some questions, <laughs> way too realistic. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was yeah. prepared for it, I made yeah. it real. Uh, by the way, none of you brought up the most important part of this survey, which is that 70% of the kids want to repaint the White House a different color. 36% <laughs> blue, 22% red. Those are your two leaders. Hmm. Nobody cares, really? <laughs> <laughs> Symbol of our great nation, defaced. <laughs> and you all sit there with your smug little grins. Well, look, they didn't suggest it. They asked. I thought they were, I thought they were leading the, what do you call leading the witness. They oh, shouldn't have asked. They? they said, should we paint it a different color? The kids say yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, people are Googling how to write in a candidate. Dave, you, don't, you said you don't understand why people would want to write in a candidate. We've got two great candidates. I feel like, now correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I could be way <laughs> off on this. I feel like you were being sarcastic. I was. Okay. I was okay. indeed. Wanted to make sure. No, they're, they're awful. Yeah. Uh, John, you said the best thing Trump, Clinton, and Johnson could do is announce that if they win, they'll step down and turn over the presidency to their vice president. Yes. So I guess you're not a f fan of uh, a John Lubaraka? Who? That's uh, uh, Jill Stein's vice president. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, I hadn't thought of that. You, you got me there. All right. Uh, also, Tom, you asked if they could do that. Yeah. They absolutely could. They could do it. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, you said you don't like Gary Johnson, and you said you would love to ride in somebody. Mm -hmm. Are you off the Trump train? Eh, no, I'm like kind of half on it. I'm still riding the Trump train. I'm just also realistic, and I kind of know Trump won't win. Okay. But I only like Trump just because I hate Hillary. But we've had this discussion okay. yeah. before. Yeah, I was just curious. Uh, Nick, you made a good point here. You, it feels like we're supposed to be making fun of people who don't know how to write in a candidate. But it's actually a good question. I have no idea how you write somebody. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. Do you know? No, that's why I said I don't know. All right. I think there's, there's a line. Idea. You just write them yeah, in, right? Is. I mean, I assume that's how it works, but... I don't in know. local elections, my dad writes in our dog every single election for mayor. <laughs> Has really? the dog won? <laughs> yeah, our neighbors do it, too. The dog always gets, like, five votes. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> wow. Uh, Americans' biggest fears. Kristen, you said this list shows that Trump needs to stick to the issues because yeah. they sort of back him up. Yeah, he can't, though. Well, that's because of the media. Oh, the media is obsessed not. with talking about candidates raping kids, raping women. I mean, that's all they talk about. They don't talk about the issues. Yeah. <laughs> was it the media that brought all of Bill Clinton's people to show Trump everyone? Trump was defending himself. Oh, Andy. Okay. I'm sure you would have done the same. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. I don't think I would have done what either of them has done in the first place. Uh, Dave, you said if you're looking at Donald Trump and counting him out, you're crazy. Call me crazy. Okay, fair enough. It doesn't look good, it's but over. It's okay, in the way first two over. weeks of the primary, were weren't you just like no. me and everybody else who thought no, Trump would I, probably be out? After New Hampshire, I said to a friend, I, I said, This is over. There's okay, no, I'm sorry, I, I, I should I should rephrase that. Not after the first two weeks of the primary, after the first two weeks of him being a candidate. Okay, back oh, okay. a year and a half ago. Right. Who would have thought he would still be here now? That's true, but once people started voting, I said early on, I said, I do not see a firewall. I didn't even know what a firewall was. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew I couldn't see one. Okay, he is still one fainting spell away from being president. I don't even know at this point. I used to think that. I'm not even sure anymore. It's a long time to election day, Andy. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Way too long. Uh, John, you pointed out that only 8% of Americans pick clowns as a big fear. Yeah, it was second from the bottom of the list. The very bottom, uh, only 6.8% fear others talking about them behind their back. And that <laughs> I thought was naive because that's a genuine fear that most Americans should have. Well, I would never tell them this, but they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, by the way, the same percentage, 102 
said they feared a significant other cheating on them as did fear zombies. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, this was my favorite part of the survey. They, they asked Americans about levels of belief in nine different popular conspiracy theories. 54.3% said the government is concealing what they know about the 9-11 attacks. 49.6% JFK assassination, that the government is concealing stuff. 42.6% alien encounters. <laughs> Moon landing, only 242 I don't get that. I'm way too yeah. low. <laughs> way too low. Andy's favorites. 30% <laughs> Obama's birth certificate. So now we know what percentage of the vote Trump will get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feminists are issuing citations. John, you actually thought this was a good idea, which at first I thought was nuts. Then I remembered I carry these cards around with me. Do, do we have that, a picture of that card? <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That is so brilliant. I, I'm, by the way, I'm not, we can take that. I'm not kidding. I have the card right here. <laughs> Got a whole box of them. That is great. Yep. Hand them out a lot on the subway. I have a lot of bruises. <laughs> uh, Nick, you don't get to have sex with them after you get 10 checks on the card. Yes, you do. I can't emphasize My card, enough. my it's rules, It's not buddy. how it works, man. <laughs> it's not how it works. I don't care. I'm bringing it into the coffee shop. I'm trading it in. No one can stop me. The customer's always right. <laughs> right. Uh, and this hover cam that records your life. This is why we have a Second Amendment. <laughs> You got to shoot these <laughs> things out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> People get in trouble, Andy. They're shooting drones. And they, they should get be shooting trouble. drones. I know. I would shoot a drone, but no. people, they, you know, they get, they get cited for it. Well, they, sh they shouldn't. Why not? Anything else you want to talk about, Tom? No, I just. You want to talk more about the conspiracies that were, conspiracy theories that are on the list? I don't believe in many of those conspiracies. You don't? No. You don't believe the government is hiding plans for a one-world uh, government? No, I 32. don't. Thirty-two point nine of Americans. Unbelievable. Do. Yeah. 27.8% believe the government's covering up something in uh, Justice Scalia's death. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. He I was, thought th that I mean, was fishy. It looked a little fishy that weekend, but I, I, mm. I, I think we looked into that. I no, no he was a young man in good health. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He weighed like a buck twenty. <laughs> but wait, what did you say? You said the conspiracy was that the government is keeping information about 9/11. Yes. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 No, that's no, not no, even a theory. No, that is true. Yeah. That is absolutely true. So the percentage of people who don't agree with that are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am done. Thank you, Andy. Yep. Coming up.